here we are getting ready to enter the church and they happen to have a little MG show here this is fantastic uh, beautiful Fantastic. Ah, there's a whole bunch more out here. Oh, I'm sorry, I was doing English too. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, MGC. Oh, sorry. It's got a big engine, that's all. Okay. Yeah. So where have you been? Wow. Uh, MG show continued. One of the guys drove it down from England. Um, said he took two weeks to get here. Not British, but uh, Herrera. So I guess Everhart is the, uh, the car club, I guess. I don't know, I have to look it up. This is beautiful. Wow, look at this one. That is phenomenal. 1600 MK2. I love the color too. Just amazing. Beautiful. MGB. Reminds me of being in uh, Hawaii. Frank didn't have a top on his. <laughs> we got caught in the rain. And I still remember it. A Morgan. Arrow 8. Makes sense. Very aerodynamic. Wow. I would be worried to death driving it on some of these roads. Beautiful. Where did you drive from? Uh, we've driven up from Malaga. Southern Spain has the uh, the registration, but uh, most of the club have um, come down from Genoa, so they were based up around there. So it's the, uh, the MG Club of Italy. We uh -huh. just joined them for the rally, so we drove up to Barcelona and came across and joined them from there. Awesome! So, uh, what a trip! Yeah, yeah you've got thirty days off to Malta after this. So anyway, can we drive around. Be careful driving in town, they're a little bit crazy. Oh, aren't they just? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure you're used to it. Yes. Yeah, the Spanish are the same. <laughs> yeah. I went to a motocross race there in Bullpeg um, in Spain. Um, so I see you're on this side. Yeah. Well, I love the color too. It's an unusual color, see? Yeah. They only did it for this model of car, it's just a one off color. Well, they made about 2,000 of these, just under 2,000. That was it. Yep. Very limited production. 
my dad had one he had a british racing green stromberg you oh, know yeah. carbs at yeah. all that um it didn't keep up with a v8 but a v8 would kind of drop off after you know 80 90 miles an hour just didn't rev up like like the other engines wow that is a lot of horsepower <laughs> it's a big engine for a small car <laughs> yeah yep yeah this one's good for about 135 top speed wow that's phenomenal yeah he had the wire rims and mm. they were a pain to keep balanced yeah. so yeah, uh always go the, you know, the spokes just get a little bit loose and yeah and balance goes on them yeah like a motorcycle yeah same yeah thing. yeah they look nice on there yeah the hard work to keep clean as well <laughs> uh that too especially the chrome ones they're really hard work yeah. yep Well, thanks for uh, let me take a tour of your vehicle. Yeah, I, that's it. Where are you from? Uh, the States, Georgia. I go to a car show and bring my hot rod there occasionally and have a couple older cars. An old Nova, 73 Nova, 77 Jeep. Oh. And, uh, but uh, this looks like a blast. So, yeah, this is, this is a touring car. I've got a, a 1952 MGTD as well. We just use that for, for local stuff. You know, it's 70, 71 years old. You know, so oh, you, wow. You treat it gently. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit too far to say that one this time. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I treat myself gently. I'm almost there at 71. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have a good day. Take care. Adios. One more car to look at. Wow, cool stories talking to everybody, where they're from, how far they've driven, uh, the hobbies that they have, uh, multiple cars. Look at this thing. Oh, number one. Wow, look at this. Be careful getting in and out with that. Reminds me of a motorcycle. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Got your fins on there for hitting the ocean, doing a little snorkeling. If you're an MG fan, this is the holy grail here. Wow. Pretty random to walk up on this. I ditched everybody when I saw in the cars. <laughs> I'm in trouble. We're supposed to be doing a church tour, but... Alright. Hope you enjoyed that. Adios.